we're all gonna die someday. I've been kind of realizing a lot about life lately and I've been thinking about a lot and my little brother would always like jokingly just while well, it was silent in, in the room just out of nowhere would be like we're gonna die someday Gwen <laughs> and <laughs> it, it would always just like catch me off guard and I'd either fucking die laughing or or I'd just look at him like <laughs> like why do you have to remind me you know, but, um, everything that's been happening globally and in my own personal life and in the lives of those I love, um, all this stuff just going on and flashing before me is just, like, amazingly scary, um, you know, bombs or whatever, like, the... The Iranian general being assassinated and being on the edge of my seat worrying if we're going to be going to war and all that has just like been a lot, you know. Hold on. So I have like, this is really off topic, but I have this stink bug in my house. It's the only one I've seen. It's like, it keeps coming back. Um, I just let it live here. But he doesn't have a name, so you guys help me think of a name for this stink bug. <laughs> Shield bug, whatever you want to call it. I've pet it before, I've held it before, it doesn't care. Anyway, but along with the uh, Iraq stuff, like... And the fact that our president's a fucking idiot. Australia. The fact that these animals are dying and stuff and like there's all these like it just the global warming aspect of everything and it's like just really fucking dumb because you know, a lot of people, like, don't want to realize this. A lot of people don't want to, like, recognize and acknowledge this, but, you know, and I'm not, I'm not a scientist. Like, I'm not a professional. I don't know anything other than just what I've looked into and what I've researched. So, you know, don't come at me or anything, but from my understanding, the meat industry is one of the biggest causes of global warming, and you can look at it. You know, you don't have to be a scientist, like, just use your logic, use your brain, and just look at everything that goes into the, to that. And then, you know, look at the fact that there's this many people on the planet. There's not, there's not unlimited sources. I almost feel bad for speaking about this because, you know, everyone thinks it's matter of opinion, but it's, it's not a matter of opinion that... Humans are frugivorous, and we're designed to not eat meat. We, it's just like, I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense, like, how people can actually still think that we're not supposed to just eat plants and bugs. Like, I'll eat a fucking bug if I really have to. Not that one. I'm not eating that one. <laughs> He's my roommate, okay? Listen. But, I don't know, guys. I just, I've been, I haven't been active on anything. I owe people commissions. I, you know, I'm working on getting my own life figured out and all this and that, blah, 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 whatever. But, I just wanted to make a video to say something. I, I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to to make my presence known here because at the moment I just I'm feeling so I'm just feeling everything we are all gonna die someday and I feel like I don't spend enough time with my family I'm already 20 years old and I'm not making the money that I wanted to 
that I want to make on YouTube or off my art or anything else, you know, it's like unwritten common perception that your life is, your prime is over after you're 25. Youth is so limited. I guess age doesn't matter, though. It's really all about the stress that you put on yourself. Because you could be 30 plus and still look young and feel young, you know. I feel like I hit 30 two years ago. And yet I'm still a kid. I still feel four. And I'm, I'm living in the house I grew up in. The house my grandma spent most of her time alone in. Because I didn't spend enough time with her. I see my mother aging. My brother starting to drink. Because of me. Because I was this older sister who had to freaking influence him to party with me. My, sis my other sister, my, my, older, my oldest sister is only focused on work and school. But she's working so hard and she's doing great. My other sister is going through her own stuff and I'm so out of the loop. I'm not even entirely sure what she's going through. And my other grandma that she lives with is getting old. And I know that she's already welcomed to death. So at this point, it's just time, you know. I'm having issues with me, <laughs> my uh, baby's dad and his girlfriend. There's a custody case, which I won't go too into that because I know it's, you know, it's my personal information. I'm, we're not supposed to talk about it, you know, by their opinion. I'm not supposed to talk about it. And ev every move I make is watched and criticized and... I don't know, not to, not to victimize myself. I don't feel like a victim. Once upon a time in my life, I really did. I felt like I was never going to be happy. I thought that I would never find any sort of peace and I was just in a constant state of suffering and now I'm okay, but there's still so much. If Tomorrow, there was a devastating natural catastrophe. You know, I just, I just would want you guys to, to remember that the universe loves you. And that your family loves you regardless of what you deal with, with them. And your friends love you. Even if they don't realize the extent in which they do, or even your enemies love you. They just don't know it. And remember, you love yourself more than you know. Otherwise, you wouldn't be upset when things are against you. Because you are for you. So if something's against you, it bothers you because you are not actually against you. You love yourself. Don't let yourself ever think otherwise. Remember to tell your loved ones how much they mean to you. Even if they call you dramatic. Because mine, my, I mean, never mind. But. <sighs> we are all going to die someday. Material things are not the focus of this lifetime. That is not the purpose of this lifetime. My generation may have been created to see the end of the world. This government has so much power. What's stopping them? I say, everybody get a gun while you can. Keep praying to God. 
tell everyone you love them. Just don't forget to count your blessings. We're only here for a short time. And regardless of all the drama and the shit that you guys get into, remember that that stuff doesn't matter. When you're 80 and on your deathbed and looking back at your life, make sure that you can look back to a life that was forgiving rather than a life of resentment a life of regret and hatred just don't let that happen as far as we know we only have one life I personally don't believe that I believe in reincarnation but as far as we know this could be the only life Gwen is not forever. You are not forever. I don't really care if I look stupid crying on camera because my point is as time passes, we get older. We are slowly decaying. The planet needs our help. This is a time that we need to open up our hearts and we need to allow ourselves to love because this world is starting to become cold. It should not be January and 60 degrees. Australia shouldn't be on fire. The Amazon was on fire. Does anyone even remember or still talk about that? I see perfectly clear skies being tainted with plumes of smoke from factories in Cleveland. And I see it slowly happening to my hometown in Medina County. I just want things to be okay for my baby. I just want a better future for all the kids. So if there's anything you can take from this video, Please let it be hope, and please let it be a drive to cut back meat and boycott dairy, boycott fast food. If you're gonna eat meat, do it responsibly. I don't want to force anything down your throat. I just want to make a suggestion, but ultimately it's better for all of us in the end. It's not worth intestinal parasites, it's not worth raped animals losing their babies. It's not worth, it's not worth the, the, the smog. It's not worth the, it's, it's just not worth it. It's not worth any, any of it. Your taste buds are not worth all of this. I know the meat industry isn't the primary cause, but it's one of them. So just please try something different today. It's too much. We're taking too much. Please be conscious. I love you guys. Namaste.